newzealandmusician.co.nz Hey Chris, and um, welcome to NZM's office. Feel free to come in. Thank you. I guess I guess the focus really needs to be about your gig at Tuning Fork this Saturday, November 18th. Mm -hmm. And have you played Tuning Fork before? Uh, we haven't played the Tuning Fork uh, yet, no. So it's really exciting. So is, would it be the biggest Auckland venue you've performed in? Uh, uh, or certainly, sorry, I should say headlined in. That yeah. That probably be a better way. Probably. We had we had one of almost a similar size last year for the album launch. But this is I think as far, in regards to the whole feel of the thing and the setup, this would probably be the biggest, yes. Right. And so you are I think you're kind of halfway through the widening habitats tour with, with this gig on Saturday. Mm -hmm. uh, where does that name the tour name come from and what does it represent? Well, that's an interesting thing. We are playing Stewart Island. Which is pretty cool. Uh, habitat yeah, and yeah, yeah, widening. Pretty, essentially, you take the wolves and widening the habitat. It's just a little fun thing. Um, a friend of mine in uh, who's helping us out with our gig in Open Only, which is how far we're going north, right. uh, she suggested the idea, and I thought, yeah, that's fantastic. It's, it, there's a complication on that tour, isn't there? Because you're playing at least one really quite large venue. Mm-hmm. Tuning for and clearly, if you're playing open only, yeah, I can't imagine. I can't even picture a, a venue in open only, and uh, nor in Stuart Island. That, that I guess Stuart Island's got a good hall, but open only's got to be a small, a small gig. Okay, well, there's there's something about New Zealand that I think everybody just doesn't understand, and it's that these little towns that have people there, they're looking for music, they're yep. looking to be entertained, and more often than not, I. Mm, yeah, I'm fairly confident in saying that they care a little bit more about what you're doing than the big towns. Yeah. And they get so much more invested. So the time that we take to go there is always worthwhile. Uh, so in, uh, in Open Only, there's actually a hotel there, which is quite a big venue. Mm. Uh, Brendan Thomas and the Vibes have played there, strangely arousing. That's sort of part of the New Zealand circuit. And on uh, Stewart Island, there's also a hotel there too. And I think they... Whenever we've played an open audience, it's been really rewarding. So I'm kind of hoping the same for Stuart Allen too. Oh, most excellent. Um, what about sound and, and places like that? Are, 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 you know, are there issues? You know, do you have to take your own sound engineer and make sure that the band sounds good? Take as much gear as you need. Uh, for open only, we'll take a rig up and we'll take a take a sound engineer. But for for the South Island. It's a little tricky because uh, we're driving everywhere. So I think we're doing a gig in Nelson, and then we've got three days to get down to Stewart Island. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's fine. Yeah, we've done much crazier things than that. And um, you, we don't have any room in the car for Kia, so we're just going to... Well, I've arranged gigs that have PAs already, but in regards to some of them, you borrow a bit from someone, and you borrow a bit from here, and you kind of put things together. And it can be... It's interesting, but usually you wind up with something that's pretty good. What what sort of door charge do the smaller venues sustain? The small, you know, and is it, do you do you really have to think that through, or or do you just cover, make sure you cover your costs and and leave it at that? That is a huge much of a muchness because it's all venue dependent. Right. Okay. Um, if you're going, you know, you'd be surprised the amount of little theatres in New Zealand. Mm. Tokoro has a theatre, for example. And whenever you use a space like that, the higher edge fees is going, are going to be more. And and I, I guess the whole caliber of the thing, what's expected of you is sort of different as to if you were to show up to the local pub and play. Hmm. Um, and if people are coming there just to watch you and, and you're hiring a space specific for that, then, you know, usually the charge is a lot higher. My and my view of Albion the Walls is that you work extremely well in a small venue and that you're possibly more comfortable with a, 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 an audience that you can pretty much reach out reach out and touch. Yeah. Kind of, but not well, you know, we're pretty diverse, man. We can kind of take on anything. We've yep. taken on rooms of, you know, we take, we've played some pretty big festivals and, and taken on rooms of heaving people and, and got them hella riled up and, and then... The, when you do have that sit-down context, it's awesome. And if I'm going to be honest, sometimes I prefer that. It is nice. It's always nice. An understatement. It's always gorgeous to have people that want to listen to what you're doing. But 
there's something to be said for making everybody kind of dance too. So we are proud to say we can take on anything. Uh, the only time that's ever felt different is when we got to play the the Wellington Meridian Gardens Magic. And we Jerry Paul put us onto that gig. Uh, if you don't know who he is, he's a promoter and a fantastic musician based in Wellington. And uh, he put us on, so we applied and... We didn't really know all that much about it to turn up and find that the due to the weather being there uh, and kind of everything coming together, a crowd of two thousand, which is amazing, and we had ninety minutes to fill. That was the first. That was my first experience with an audience of that size, and it's awesome. But it's a very, very different kettle of fish. Nonetheless, we, we had a great time, and you know, um, we're pretty sure they enjoy it. We made it enjoy work. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder widening habitats does that. Also reference the music that you're making. Are you you road testing or something? Some new songs? Yeah, we're road testing new songs and trying try new things. Um, the band used to be a four piece, mm -hmm. so now that we're down to a three piece, the whole dynamic has changed, and so are the songs in some ways, um, and the songs that we're making. Right, and you've got a, a, a recording uh, schedule for for the songs that you're you're playing over this tour. Runabouts. Should we shut that window? Yeah. The answer to that is no. Um, so we record in Michael Young's studio, which is based in Devonport. It's called mm. Studio 27A, and he has produced a ream of albums with a bunch of different folk artists. And what's fortunate about that is he plays bass in the band too. Mm -hmm. So we can... We don't want to dilly dally, but we do have just a little bit of time. Um, and you've got flexibility. Yeah, yeah. Built in. Yeah. Granted, we might do something different this time. Who knows? We'll see. And I see from your poster that that you're going to be playing Woodford Festival um, over in, well, it's north of Brisbane, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Tell us about that gig. That's going to be insane. We have no idea what to expect. I have no idea. This will be, uh, I'll be on the Wolves' first overseas adventure. It will be. Uh, I mean, Michael has, you know, Michael's played all around the world. Pascal plays regularly in London, and I got to travel Europe playing gigs there this year. But as this band itself, this is the first thing. And we're all very excited about it. We're all open to what it is and what it's going to mean. I talked to Graham James about it, and he he spoke very highly about this place and the gigs that you have there, so we'll see what happens. It includes New Year's Eve, doesn't it, Woodford? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think we're playing every day from the 27th to the 1st at oh, some really? different time. Yeah. I've, heard, I've heard that the heat is horrendous, so the only thing I'm probably not looking forward to is that. <laughs> so, but doing some quick maths, is that six, six gigs on the trot at one festival? Mm-hmm. I'm just going to check one thing here. Oh, no, I love you by then. Yeah, we're right. That's, that's, I suppose that's part of the theory. I mean, this festival is truly massive. They have over 200 acts booked, uh, including John Butler Trio and Husky. Those are the only two I can remember off the top of my head. Mm. So it's strange. I think we're kind of, you know, we're just part of the whole thing. But nonetheless, it's amazing. We'll see. And we're, we're going to do our damnedest to, to make an impression in Australia. We're also going to nip over to Melbourne and play some shows there. We've got kind of a couple lined up so far, but we'll see how we go. Is Woodford invitation, uh, or did, was it an application? Uh, application. application. Yeah. Any good people to deal with? Uh, in so far, yes. Yeah. I mean, I think I've dealt with like six so far. There's lots of different facets of the organisation, which makes sense considering how unbelievably big it is. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, best of luck with that. Oh. And thank you. Best of luck with the rest of the widening, widening Habitat tour. I hope it goes mind? very well for you. Oh, thank you very much. Do you mind if I just do a quick plug for the rest of the shows? Oh, please. Sweet. So this weekend, uh, we have Hamilton, which is the Bar Lounge. Saturday, which is Tuning Fork, obviously. And then uh, we have a, a week off before we head down. We play the Wanganui Musicians Club. Uh, the Wellington Bluegrass Society. We got a house concert in Nelson. Then we nipped down where we talked about Stewart Island. We're coming back through Dunedin, Christchurch, and Picton. And then Open Only will be the last one to finish the thing off before we head to Australia. Your so, biggest tour yet? Uh, no, nah, we did a bigger one last summer, um, which was 18 dates. But this one's still fairly big, I think. 
I don't know. I, is it big? <laughs> well, it's a big pre-Christmas tour, that's for sure. I mean, uh, yeah. Sweet. May you draw big crowds. Thank you very much. Yeah, that would be fantastic. <laughs> Cheers, Chris. Thanks, mate. Cheers. Thank you very much.